this, the Kevin and Sonia Show with Tara G. So we're about to welcome a very special guest back to the show, but I'm going to need to take a huge whopper of a breath before I tell you about all her accomplishments. <laughs> ready? Okay, ready. She's a Canadian ice dancing Olympic gold and silver, silver medalist. Canadian treasure and sweetheart. Welcome back to the show, Tessa Virtue. Tessa! Woohoo! Hi, guys. We're just so pumped to have you on with us. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could be there in person. How is retirement, by the way? It's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is not an ideal time for anybody to retire during a right. pandemic. I mean, most retirees would probably move to Florida, start wearing those <laughs> colorful Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> well, you're right. I'm not golfing as much as I thought it would be in retirement, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've been studying, um, doing some new business things, you know, like everyone else, just trying to to balance feeling productive and purposeful um, while being a little more confined. So you're working on your MBA. Correct. I want to learn as much as I possibly can. I'm just soaking it all up. And I know that whatever I pursue will be in the business realm of some sort. And so I'm just trying to get some both theoretical and practical knowledge of of how I can be my, my best self. And being a student is no joke, right? I mean, you're burning the midnight oil. You know, like in your case, you're still working. So, you know, it's it's often hard when you're a student to keep nutrition and keep self-care as a priority. Uh, but we're seeing your ads all over the place. You've teamed up with Cashy, and your big message is that you still can do that. But what about when the chocolate bar is right beside the Cashy bar, and you're going, which one do I take? Like, it's so difficult. Well, have you, have you had the dark chocolate almond and sea salt Cashy bar? Oh, Oh, but but you know I'm, I'm a listening. lover and and I try not to deprive myself. So I think the intent is that when you're eating mindfully in most areas of of your life and throughout the day, then you can indulge. You know, you can have that chocolate bar, that chocolate cake, whatever it may be. It again, it's all about balance and everything in moderation. So we're speaking <laughs> with one of Canada's favorite Olympians, Tessa Virtue. Tessa, how's Scotty? He's great. Yeah, he's really loving the coaching realm, um, which is no surprise. I mean, he has so much insight to offer and he has such a contagious energy. And to be able to share that with with other skaters and inspire the next generation, I'm, I'm just so proud of him. Do you guys see each other or is it like, no, OK, we have enough of each other? I guess no one is seeing no one is seeing anyone right now. Right? Yeah, That's true facts. I, I wish we could. I wish we could. There's a lot of athletes that look up to you and, you know, what you were able to accomplish with Scott Moyer in your ice dancing career. And um, there is an overwhelming sense of disappointment, I think, for especially those who were training for things like the Olympics, which ended up being canceled this year. It puts things into perspective when when people's lives are on the line and humanity as a whole is really suffering. It does put sport into perspective, but it is gut-wrenching nonetheless to postpone an Olympic Games and you know for a lot of those athletes when they've invested their everything all of their time and energy and focus into this one goal it is a dramatic shift to have to recalibrate and kind of reset your timeline so I feel for them but I just hope that it's offered a chance to grow and learn maybe rest and recover in a different way and and perhaps pause and approach sport just a little bit differently. I, I feel like we could just listen to you give a motivational speech for hours. And I know. kind of forgot that we were interviewing and I was just sitting Sit there back. taking it all in. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to ask something. <laughs> Tell us how to be as great. Save us, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> well, if one of you can inspire me to do my homework after this call, that would be great. The motivation has come the other way. <laughs> yeah. Where are you right now with like uh, your, your papers and your exams with your MBA? Um, well, I'm heavy into accounting at the moment, and it's not quite so intuitive, but I honestly love the process of it. Like, I, I think what I was looking for was that terrified feeling, <laughs> you know, that maybe I it, it's filling a void of what I felt on the ice of the nerves and the pressure and the stress. So, you know, I'm trying to apply the things that I've learned in sport in this school program. And a little less dizzying in a physical sense than spinning around and, you know, doing your, your 480s and triple <laughs> axles and... That's true, yeah. Sorry, I thought maybe you were making up the 480 thing. I, I, I was I like, was. no. You're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, were I, you? <laughs> I was almost partway through a skateboarding thing. I was like, no, that's Tony Hawk. Right. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Canada's sweetheart, Tessa Virtue, back on the show. Thanks for taking some time. Thanks for giving us a little bit of motivation today. We appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you. And sending lots of love and big hugs your way. Oh, we love you, girl. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. The Kevin and Sonya Show.